Hey guys, it's Stuart here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to navigate the homepage section of the new Facebook business suite. So just before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like down below and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And with that said, let's get started. This is the first video of a multi-step tutorial on how to navigate and successfully use the new Facebook business suite. Now, in today's video, we're going to just be focusing on the homepage navigation. So to get started with that, we just need to click on the business suite icon on the top left hand corner of your Facebook page and just click on it right there. This is then going to take you to the homepage section right here. And I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on what everything is. And we're going to have a brief overview as to how you can use the basic features. So up at the top here, we have got the Facebook page and Instagram page, which is connected to this particular business suite. If you haven't yet logged in and connected your Instagram account, that's totally all right. You may just see the Facebook icon page that shows up at the top right here. As we go down here, we have a to-do to list where you can set up the different tasks which you may have today. So post on page IG, add details, use hashtags that are trending for digital marketing. And as you can see right here, you just click save task and that's going to then bring up a task which you can uh, assign to yourself and then tick off once you have completed it. If we come down here, we have a recent posts section where you can see the analytics on the most recent posts that have gone up on your Instagram and Facebook pages. And if you want to see all of them, you just click on the see all posts here. If you want to put a bit of advertising push into it, you can select boost post and that will automatically bring a little pop up here as to what your target goal and objective is similar to what the boost platform is right now. You just get to have a little bit of an overview as to all of the things here, your targeting, your placement and so on, as well as your ad account. And we're just going to exit out of that now. One of the other things too, you'll see on the home page is little dots next to each one. And what you can do here is you can actually edit the posts if you're not happy with the content or you want to add something in into it, or you could even duplicate and delete it um, all inside of the business suite right here. Now this is feature is not readily visible. You actually have to hover your mouse down until you see the three dots, you click on it, and then you can see edit post, duplicate posts and delete post. And if you want to see all the posts and go through to the new section um, where you can see all the analytics and breakdown and stuff, it's going to be right over there. But we're going to come back because we're just focusing on the home page. Just wanted to make sure you got an idea as to where it takes you through. So if we come down a little bit further here, you can see your stories for uh, Facebook and for Instagram. And you can even create one um, here on the home page, which is really, really cool. And it's quite easy. You just add your media and you can get going with that. And it's the same with Instagram as well. And you can share the story up at the top here, nice and simple. So as you can see already, there are a lot of features that are just here on the home page of the business suite. And the good thing about the new business suite is that it's quite easy to navigate. So if you want to see all the stories, again, it's similar to all the posts. You just click right through here and it will take you to uh, all the stories that are on both of your pages. Now, here's the next thing that we've got here, which is the planner. So this will give you the opportunity to schedule a post, for example, if you have um, got a content calendar that you want to keep to and you want to schedule a post for a particular time and date and that basically allows you to put your text in put it in and choose when you want to um, publish your post depending on the time and the date 
And what it will do is it will allow you to see when the post is due to go up. And if you want to see the planner in a little bit more detail, you just click through at the bottom there and that will then take you uh, through uh, all the places where you've done your particular posts. As you can see right here, mine's a little bare at the moment, obviously, because I had a lot of other work on, but it's um, nevertheless a very important way and easy way to keep track of all the information. So click see planner to see all of it. Um, if you've scheduled multiple posts at one time. Now, this may seem like quite a lot. So one of the things that I would really encourage you to do as you're watching this video is to just hit that pause button once we've gone through each section and go over to business.facebook.com or click on the business suite icon on your Facebook page if you can't access it straight away and go into the section here, pause the video after we've gone through each section and slowly go through each section yourself so you can get an idea and a feel for how each section works. So coming down here, this is recent ads. So these are going to be some of the boosted posts that you've got. And you can also manage the ads inside of here. And remember as well that a lot of these are going to be boosted post related, okay? So some of them um, are going to be, you know, obviously very recent. Some of them will be completed. Some of them will be paused, depending on what you've got going on. So that's where you're going to find all of your ads. It's just it's got to scroll down. It's right underneath the planner. And you're going to see um, the ads. You can get an idea of how many people you've reached, your ad spend, uh, the cost per result. Then we come over to one of the more important metrics, which is audience growth. You can see the people that have engaged with your posts recently. And the other great thing as well here is you can have a look at people um, who have interacted with it and you can send them an invitation or we'll just let it load. You can <clears throat> choose people to come and like your page all at once just like that and the really cool thing about that feature is that it enables you to save a lot of time because previously uh, back in the day uh, Facebook would have it where so and so likes your post invite them over and you'd have to go click into the post and then click on the engagement and then click on um, each of the ones individually now you can do it all in one place you can even invite your friends to come and like your page as well, if that's something which is going to help you get more engaged followers. And the other good thing as well here that we've got on the homepage of the business suite um, that's been updated is content inspiration. Now, the great thing about content inspiration is you can get a reasonably quick idea similar to Instagram hashtags of good engaging content that different pages and different businesses are sharing at the moment. So let's just click into one, for example, and we can see um, this great one here, Haven Marlborough, so happy all new businesses coming for work. Don't hesitate to reach out. And then we can exit out of that and we can go um, to the next one. We'll just let it reload again. Coming back down, and we can get some more content inspiration at the bottom. And let's have a look at Be Creative, for example. So as you can see here, new post, just exit out of it and have a look at maybe one more, Sophie and Elise. As you can see here, best toasty place in New Zealand, just sharing a bit of you know user experience. So a great play way to self-promote and great way for you as a page administrator and a page contributor to get new content ideas. Now that's just the basics all in the middle there. Obviously there's a little bit more on the sides. So we're gonna go onto the right hand side here first, and then we'll go over to the left hand side. So here we are with the goals that have been set. So if you've got particular goals that you are wanting to achieve with your Facebook page, say for example, you want to reach 50,000 people you want to reach 100,000 people on Instagram, 
you can set yourself the particular goals and you can edit your goals right up in the top right hand corner clicking on the three dots and it's going to take you to down here where you want to you know choose something let's say we want to reach 50 thousand people on Facebook and Instagram we want to reach um, let's say a thousand people and you can select the start date in which you do that and that's really cool you just hit the update button and then it allows you to see how far you are towards those goals obviously I've been doing a lot of Facebook ads tests so I'm pretty close to hitting my target of 50,000 people Instagram I don't post on as much so I've got a little bit of a way to go there but for you as a business owner, if you're wanting to reach more people, this is a great way to do it. So once again, just hit the dots up here, edit the goals. And if you find this to be uh, in excess, you can just remove the goals completely and leave it uh, blank. And that comes down towards the next section here, which talks about the insights. So this is going to be the um, level of insights um, for trends and audience. And these are set at the moment here for the last uh, four weeks or the last 28 days. So you can see the lifetime um, likes and the lifetime uh, reach for the last 28 days. And the great thing about the insights is it gives you an idea as to whether or not you're on the right track. If it's um, sort of trending downwards, you need to start thinking about how you can increase those numbers. And with your audience, with the page likes and the followers, are you on track to get a more engaged audience? Remember not to think about the metrics here. You need to think about how engaged each of those people are. And that comes down to the post activity section. So this is the recent posts that you've put up. You can boost recent posts. You can duplicate it. And you can even um, start a brand new draft. And each and every time which you want to start a new draft, the great thing is it pops up on the home page so you're not getting directed to somewhere else where there's the potential to get a little bit lost and confused and potentially overwhelmed so really cool little feature and let's just say you want to duplicate the current post as well it opens on the home page as well and you can do the exact same thing choose where you share it choose the text and so on and just alter it a little bit and Coming down here, it's what's new in Business Suite. So obviously everything that we've been talking about right now and a little bit more information, Facebook's regularly going to update this. So I highly recommend you stay up to date with that and do click the see more button to see the other things that they have done. Right, I know that's quite a lot of information to take in. So please don't forget to pause the video each time we go in a different section. Um, get a bit of an idea as to what's going on, click on all the buttons, all the scheduled post drafts and so on, and make yourself as comfortable and familiar with the platform as possible. I'm just giving you an overview today on what everything is and where you can find it so that it's as easy as possible for you to navigate through it on the home page. So as you can see here, we have then got the notifications button. So this pretty much is similar to page notifications, except you're going to be getting them for Facebook and Instagram. And you'll see the icon Facebook and Instagram, and it'll alert you to the different one if you click through. Uh, inbox is the same as the page feature. So that is going to be the messages that you get from Facebook as well as Instagram and you can choose the feature here we'll do a tutorial i'll say as well on each of these uh, sections here so um, that'll be in one of the later tutorials so keep um, make sure you're subscribed and up to date um, with this this is part one of a multi-step tutorial on how to use the new business suite so please subscribe and we'll give you the full tutorial on how to use each of these sections as well Posts and stories, that's um, just the update. So you know, there's the posts on your page, Facebook page, Instagram page. Uh, we have the commerce. So if you sell products online, uh, this is going to be the section where you're going to find all of that information. 
Then we have the planner, which is what you see right here. It's just in a little bit more detail. Uh, ads, which is basically your boosted posts, uh, your insights. So it's really just um, a more simplified icon version of a lot of the things that you see here on the home page, but just um, one after the other, like a home page um, or top of website page browser. Now, there's obviously the setting section as well, which is going to show you where um, who has got access to your Instagram and Facebook page, who has access uh, to your ads manager, as well as some of the other assets that you might have, including uh, different emails. Uh, there's the help section, and you can give feedback as well to Facebook if you think there's something they can improve. Now, you might be asking as well with business.facebook.com, uh, what happens to the ads manager and the business manager? And that's a great question. We, you just click on all tools here, and that will pull up um, a lot of different things. Most notably, <coughs> the ads manager um, that you can see right here, which is part of the business manager. And if you scroll down a little further, you'll see the audiences, the events manager. You'll also get to see um, the billing um, and all the other things. And if you open it up, it's going to take you to the business manager uh, of old that a lot of us are familiar with. So if we just exit out of that right there, just click away just got an edit button right here. And what this allows you to do, if you are completely comfortable with a lot of the things, <coughs> what you can then do is you can choose what you see on the side screen of your manager. So let's say, for example, you don't want the inbox there, but you want the billing and you want uh, don't want the commerce and let's say you have the ads manager and you can choose um, up to six at a time and then let's just select save and hey presto, you've got an entire new section right there. So we'll just go to it again so um, you can get a quick idea of it. You can have up to six tools. So let's take out all of these here and Let's go fresh. Let's just measure the most important ones to us. Let's say you're solely using the business suite for your page and engagement. So you'd want to have your inbox. You'd want to have your planner. You would want to have uh, ads manager. You'd want to uh, look at the insights and also the ad reporting and events manager as well. So we're going to select save. And as you can see there, that dashboard right there has changed entirely and just remember hover your mouse over go down to just underneath all tools and you should see the edit button there so i'm going to leave that there for today guys thanks so much for watching i hope you got an immense amount of value out of this video just remember this is the first of a multi-part business suite tutorial series where I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know and how to navigate each section like the ones down here, uh, step by step in the next set of videos. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and have the bell icon tapped because you'll get updates on when the next Business Suite tutorial video comes out. So that's all for now, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.